I'm about an hour early this morning. Hopefully I can get on a speckled trout or redfish bite today. Out here starting off in the dead end canal, bottom bouncing a fire tiger. See what happens this morning with this. 60 degrees, it's pretty breezy today, but it should be a good day of fishing. Hug, hug up against the bank in these dead end canals and along the edge of the oyster reef out there and we'll be in good shape. Might have had a bite on that last cast. The tail was curled up on the on the hook. Usually that's a bite. Rolls up on the hook as it goes in their mouth. It was. It was a bite. Well, that's a nice fish too. get my distance right with this seven foot rod. Ooh, that's a pretty speck right there. That is a pretty speck. Don't even have to measure this one. Don't even have to measure this bad boy. Shoot, he's about 14, 15. Starting to get a lot of bait fish action on the surface. Caught that one right as soon as I got back here and hadn't had a, another set of bites since. A cork, I can't resist. What we got here. Oh, darn voodoo shrimp rig. <laughs> I'll take it. He ain't even close, got a hit right by the boat. I don't even need to measure him. He hit like a big one. He identified as a keeper. Like another little fella. Man. They're hitting big though. Just out of curiosity, I know he's small, but. I don't even think he'll make 12. No, he's about <laughs> maybe 10 inches. <laughs> oh, it took a long time, but this might finally be a keeper. <laughs> no, nope. another throwback. Oh, that's a, that's a white trout. It would be a keeper if it was a big old white trout. <laughs> Thought I had me something there, boy. Tell you what, they're hitting like a ton of bricks, but there ain't no size to the throwbacks and the white trout. I just don't feel like fooling with. Come back in the pond and start making some throws. He might be a keeper. Hooked under his gill. Don't matter on a slow day like today, though. <laughs> He's 13, barely 13. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, John. It's gonna be 13. Oh, yeah, easy. Trolling, changing locations. Picked up a bite. I don't think it's gonna be a big one, though. <coughs> I don't know, he's growing up now. Nah, probably, a, probably an almost. Let's see what we get here. Long skinny fella. What we got? Oh, he's about, he's about 12 and 7 eighths.
I don't think he's going <laughs> to... Don't have to measure him. He went over the side. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it anyway. Might put him out on a rig behind the boat. Let me do that. It's not your lucky day there, fella. got a wirely a, a rig just to do that with too with me here we go <clears throat> so get him hooked snagged a pinfish I'm gonna put it out on a big circle hook behind the boat <laughs> I've caught big trout in here before doing that this might be a keeper here finally That's a nice one finally, John. Oh, that's a good thing he's a keeper because his gill came out his mouth. Finally. Got some more corks in the water. Let's see what we do with this one. Just a plain old cork by itself. Another cork. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> a long time coming for that bad boy. <laughs> I might stay a few minutes now. I was I caught one at 20 till and I figured if I didn't catch another one by 10 I'd bail but That was a nice fish there. <coughs> well, nothing wants a little pinfish today, so while he's still alive, maybe he'll make it. So what do we got in the death chest today? Five specks in the death chest. Not a bunch of fish, but they're all pretty. What's John got in his death chest? Seven. It was a slow day today. Well, me and John made a quick trip to Port Sulphur, and it was slow today. I got five specks, and he got seven. Leaving at 11 o'clock right now, it's 72 degrees, so we need to really get some strong cold fronts to push the big specks into these ponds and these dead-end canals. Still enjoyed myself. Five nice specks all over 13 inches is a mess of fish. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.